Hello guys, uh, now that we have learned that how to build prompt generating models, so it's time to reevaluate and test them. In this section, we'll explore different matrices for evaluate prompt generating models that we created in the previous video and techniques for debugging and improving them and ways to test them on different different data. Let's start with an overview of evaluating and testing prompt generating models. First, it's important to have a good understanding of the matrices used to evaluate prompt generating models. Matrices are used to measure the performance of the model and its ability to generate accurate and meaningful responses. Some of the commonly used matrices for evaluating prompt generating models include perplexity, accuracy, and human evaluation. Perplexity measures how well a language model predicts a sequence of words. The lower the perplexity, the better the language model is. Accuracy measures how many of the generated responses are correct, while human evaluation involves having human rate the quality of the responses. Okay, so let's just take an example that how to evaluate our uh, large language model that we built in the last video. So as you see that uh, I built a model uh, using these all the uh, library data that I have and then I built a new function that is called evaluate translation and this function takes the parameter as my model and the data set and this is a small data set that I just built and this data set has the source text and the target text and then I build this function to check the accuracy and perplexity of my large language model and when it is done doing the task on my data set it gives as the perplexity and accuracy and it gives a very tremendous result as accuracy of 100%. Once we have evaluated our prompt engineering models using these matrices, we can move on the debugging and improving them. One common technique is to analyze the generated response and identify common errors or patterns. This allows us to fine tune the models and make improvement. Testing prompt engineering models on different different data sets or different different tasks is also important step in evaluating the performance. By testing on different data or different tasks, we can determine the model's ability to generalize on new or unseen data. To accomplish these tasks, we can use variety of tools and techniques. For example, we can use visualization tools to analyze the generated responses and identify common errors. We can also use different testing techniques such as cross-validation to test the model on different data sets. In this section, you will see that how to provide or how to do the model evaluation and te testing as well on the prompt engineering models. You also get the hands-on experience using the different matrices to evaluate your models, debugging and improving your models and test testing them on Richard as well. So, it's important to note that evaluating and testing prompt engineering models is an ongoing process. As you continue to use your model and generate responses, you want to keep them evaluating and testing to ensure that it continues to perform well. So, in the next section, we will dive deeper into the more advanced concepts of prompt engineering and along with the building more advanced models using large language or pre-trained large language models. Thank you guys, we'll meet in the next video.